Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Hatch and today we're back attacking Tell Me Why and we're on the hunt for case file 68653. Ready, go. Alright, so 2008, 2014. So, alright, all right, let's do some math real quick. Do some math. So, uh, that was 2000 and, oh man, I forgot already. What was it? Is this modern day, by the way? <laughs> I mean, that would really help because we know it was like 10 years ago. So, uh, 13 RS-52, what the fuck am I even looking for? This legit is worse than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, 68652. So, um, oh, I see, because the, the box, okay, so we're looking for something dash 68. Let's see what we can find. No. Um. Can I move this? Nope. Alright, check the other side. Uh, there's six one. Hey, six eight. Take it. Here we go. Oh man, do I gotta go through this individual? Step by step record of the investigation. So this is what we're looking for? Yeah. 68653. Wasn't we on 68652 though? Ah, screw it. Who cares? <laughs> uh, all right. Notified. Um, falling over deck into the lake. Well, that's one way to put it. Uh, arrived at the scene. Located witness. Uh, both minors. Date of birth. Uh, March 7th, 94. Feel like I should remember that for some reason. Uh, couldn't get a statement. They were under dire stress and shock. Okay. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. It did. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Yeah, I should probably go back and look for that. hasn't been digitized yet. They may already have it in the appendix. Good call. All right. Uh, coroner took possession, cleared scene, interviewed children's list. Da, 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 da. They talked about her hair getting cut. Uh, fled the scene. Still threatening the child. Okay, we know all of this. Uh, okay, crime scene did not recover a pair of scissors. Interesting. Okay, they were in her back though, weren't they? Um, interesting. Presented the case to District Attorney Cruz. Case number TA66585. That one's going to be important, so. Woof. Alright, TA66585. Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's go back a page. I want to see what that other thing was. So, here we go. Audio recording 36359. Alright, let's go look for that first. 36359. And that should be on the computer, hopefully. This exciting gameplay brought to you by File Clerks. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. So we got crime report and autopsy report. Twenty-four-hour homicide report, victim information, and crime summary. Oh, this just gives me other things. Okay, I got you. So storage, R six one eight eight nine, and same thing. Nope. Oh, Jesus. All right. So let's go look at mom's rap sheet first. So now we're looking for R six two seven sixty six. References zero five R sixty two seven sixty six. Yeah, R six two. R62766. Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, there's 52. I bet you it's right next to the other one. Or the other R6 as well. R6. Nope, that's 61. Where's R62? 
R6-8, R6-3. Oh, god damn it. Really? Maybe it's on the... Is it already on here? R6... Here it is. Of course, because he was just looking at it. No, I don't really want to read this. She... Um... Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non fatal. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Appears anti-mortem. Man, they're really in-depth with this. They'd say it was a homicide, yeah. With, how did injury occur? With scissors. Victim then <laughs> fell over dock into freezing lake water. Uh, operation performed by any condition stated above? No. Okay. Um, 15 centimeter stab wound, March 1st, 2015. Um, Neogen screen. What is that? No idea. She was drunk. Um, not that that really helps us much. Is that the only page to this one? Yeah. Okay. That was not super helpful. Alright, so what was the other thing? Uh, oh, I did get more stuff now. Hey, you got an audio recording. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Oh no, Hello? I don't want to listen to this. Hello? No. Hello, uh, I can hear you. Greg's took the it's call. My mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming uh, up. Woof. Okay, where are you now? I'm in hell. <laughs> We're home. You're making Hello? me listen to this. Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. Alright, honey, can you give me your address? Oof. Twelve Canary Road. Oh, no. Please. So close Hi. to Canary Road. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up. Please. Woof. Oh, I can't believe they made me listen to that. That was not cool. Oh, I got something. Date your emergency. Man, that that was not worth it at all. All right, so there was another one from the first. I don't think we saw. Um. Yeah, it was the crime report, which I thought was going to be the one we were looking for, but that's fine. 61889. All right, that's what we're going for. Okay, I need to check out 05R61889. R61, yeah, this should be it right here. There. All right. Female, 5'6", born in the 60s. Um, child stabbed her with a pair of scissors. Victim subsequently fell into the lake. Um, involved, minor's name redacted. Article, shotgun. Registered only Samuel Kansky. Yeah, that was Sam's shotgun. Grand resident, model 9mm? Who had the 9mm? Where'd you find that at? Found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown is quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. Exited her home and entered the garage, start loading a shotgun. Shortly after her child, uh, entered the garage, display a new haircut. Um, saw the child's haircut. Marianne became enraged and threatened uh, poor Tyler with a shotgun. Fled the garage toward the lake, calling for help. Still armed out onto the dock. Oh my god, why are you making me relive this? <laughs> we came out of the house towards. The, okay, so Allison came to save him. Um, stare with the, yeah, stab with a pair of scissors. Both witnesses lost consciousness. Received a phone call. Yeah, from Tyler. We just heard it. And patrol officer Jay Chan. I don't think we've met him. On arrival, set up containment. Began a crime scene log. Tending to the miners. Notification of detect. All right, Christian Holt notified his partner Eddie Brown. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene uh, about 11 p.m. Noted the crime scene was located entirely outdoors, secluded road, mostly compromised, uh, comprised of a few residential cottages. Reserved a loaded Razzler shotgun. No rounds had been discharged. Forensic personnel to recover items. Detectives were directed to the kids. Um, 
Rona stated she heard screaming while she was upstairs. She ran downstairs and looked over the kitchen window and saw her sibling and their mother, Marianne, on the docks. Uh, she was going to shoot. I'm going to kill you. Rona then stabbed Marianne with a pair of scissors trying to escape. So, they keep, they, they were talking about they had a secret, but they had, this is kind of on par with what we saw. So what's the, what's the secret? What were they hiding? Uh, interesting. All right. Because so far it seems like they've been pretty upfront about the whole, at least to what we saw. What? Oh, fuck. What do I do? Um, distract him. Um, stall him. I'm not done in here yet. <laughs> Oh shit, Sherlock! <laughs> um, get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Let me know if that works. <laughs> Alright, so... Court order. Yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. R63325. The sentencing court order. Kind of court order. References 05-63-325. Mm. So I know it doesn't look like it, but this is actually kind of tense. <laughs> I genuinely want to know what happened. R63. Where is it? I'm not seeing it. Shit. I wonder if it's out on the table, too. R60, there's an R63. Okay, here it is. Um, <clears throat> Alright. Hopefully we're getting to the end of this. Wow. Oh no. That's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Oh, Tyler. Order for detention or placement. I haven't found probable cause to support the pending petition. Delinquent or in violation of probation. Court order finds detention outside the home. Okay, whoa. Is this before or after she was killed? March 7th, 1994. Hearing on March 16th. No, this was after. Okay. Um, so that's when I got sent to Fireweed. Some people signed off on it. Got it? Yeah, that's it for that one. Okay, not a lot going on there. All right, so let's look up recording of the children. No, I've already heard. Yeah, I already heard that one. So recording. Uh, Marianne Ronan got those. Uh, all right, both of those. Hey, here, here, there we go. Incident report. T. Vecchi theft report and child neglect. Oh, okay. Now we're down to the good stuff. All right. 2005-201546. I need to check out 2005-201546. 2005-201. There we go. Here we go. Now, this is what we came for. Wait, what the hell? That's a huge child neglect. Whoa. Interesting. Shoplifting. Uh, Marianne Ronan. Here we go. January 31st at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, entered the store as Becky Slater. She observed Ronan browse the aisles for 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. She was uh, behind the cash register and did not have a direct eye contact. Okay. After 10 minutes, she asked Becky if she had any organic mosquito incense. Okay. She did not, but she leave the demand, blah, 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 blah. She walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. So she very recently restocked the shelves. No one had been in the store. She respected it, expected her shoplifting in the past. Thought they were friends, though. Um, to be guilty of child neglect, they don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Becky believed it was possible some form of abuse. Yeah, I'd, I'd say there was some abuse. Yeah, yeah, she, she tried to shoot me. Interesting. Well, that's the little bit of a smoking gun there. I think we need to go back and talk to, uh, what's her name? Alright, are we done in here? Anything else? Tessa's name came yeah, up. Yeah, I did. 
search for her. Tessa. Any recordings from Tessa? No. Nope. 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 Hospital discharge. That's new. R68 miscellaneous. Hospital discharge papers. 05 R68 miscellaneous. References 05 R68 MISC. Sixty-eight MSC. Yeah, that's it. There. All right. Hopefully, it was the last one. Huh. Why is that here? Okay. Concussion. Description of symptoms: pressure in the head, loss of consciousness, nausea, and dazed. Who was this for? Um. Was this mom or just one of us? Okay. Hospital release. Hereby I release St. Meadow Clinic from liability following the patient as per terms of release agreement. Right understood. Okay, what is this for? Patient signature, hospital stamp. Ronan. So I guess it was for one of the kids? Maybe that's why she knew that there was abuse? Because she was the one who actually had to pick us up from the hospital? No clue. I feel like we got more questions than we do answers at this point. <laughs> Anything else? It mentioned child services. It did. It did. Search for that. Done. All right. So recording. A. Hey. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the Everybody. Area? Yeah. Um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend oh, of the Oh, Sam. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. Great. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Okay. Mrs. Proof. Yeah? How worried should we be? Very. Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of this. Very situation. worried. Of course. Well... Have a good afternoon. Oh, you too. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported yep. her. What if he was just a go-between? Could have been. He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Oh, God damn it. Did we really? Fine. All right, so child services. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Nothing for Sam. We do have Sam there now. There we go. OCS fax receipt. So this is who this is who ratted it out. God damn it. O one call me BR. Okay. I need to check out 0501COMEBR. 0105. I think those are on the far right. 0105. Over here. Maybe. What if there's a timer on this? <laughs> Should I be in more of a hurry? Zero one zero five. I'm not seeing any zero one zero fives. Uh, top shelf, maybe. Zero one zero five. C O M B R. Not seeing it. Maybe it's down. Maybe it's already out. It's not that one. Is it this one? Nope. Ah, uh, shit. Five zero one. Maybe that's it. Okay, here okay. it is. <laughs> Jesus, okay. unbelievable. Allie, Tessa called mm, fucking social Of course she did. 
and Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? I think we're found out. <laughs> Please let that be the end of this segment. I need to get moving. Please. I do want to search for Sam real quick though. Shit. Nope, too late. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Not even gonna try Uncle, to get out? <laughs> we didn't mean to. I'm not gonna repeat myself. We totally meant to. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. And you're a snoop, Tyler. Uh, hey! <laughs> get off me! Rather spend the night here. Come on! I up. said, don't fucking touch me. Oh, go on. And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Oh man. Um. Yeah, let's not smart off to him. Uh, let's let, let's talk this out, shall we? Come on. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and for yeah. Allison's sake, you don't fight the cops. We talk. <laughs> Everybody knows about that. what. We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Yes. Why did Tessa? Because she was crazy, man. <laughs> We've established that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're right. We need to talk. Okay. Well, looks like we got somewhere. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Next episode, we're going to chat with Eddie and get the tea. Later. The best to rub me da 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 da